we're hearing now from Johnny Depp's attorney, Camille Vasquez. This is her first sit-down interview since Depp and Amber Heard filed motions to appeal in their legal battle. Now, last week, Heard notified a Virginia court that she will appeal the more than $10.3 million settlement she was ordered to pay her ex-husband. Depp's legal team also filed an appeal to overturn a single count of defamation decided in Heard's favor, ordering Depp to pay Amber Heard $2 million. Vasquez told us what prompted Depp's decision to appeal. Last week we heard that uh, Amber Heard was going to appeal the verdict. What did you think when you heard that? What was your reaction? It was expected. I mean, she's indicated since the day she lost mm -hmm. the trial that she was going to appeal. Mm -hmm. Do you have to plan a strategy to to respond to that? Absolutely, and we did. Um, Mr. Depp ended up filing his own appeal so that the court could have the full record. Mm -hmm. And, it, you know, she insists on continuing to litigate this matter. We have to protect our clients' interests. Yeah, we've heard that it was, it's not about the money, it's time for healing and time to move on, which was the message that he sent. But how do you heal and move on when both sides are still in court arguing? It's pretty standard legal procedure. We just are hopeful that the court will uphold the verdict, which we think was the right verdict, and allow both parties to, to move on. So is it safe to say that if she hadn't appealed, you all would not have appealed either? You would have moved on? Yes. Is, is that a fair statement? That's, that's a very fair statement. Yeah, she said it's not a matter, because I said, sounds a little tit for tat. She goes, nope, this is a legal strategy. We reached out to Amber Heard and her legal team to speak with us about their appeal. They told us that they're not co commenting at this time. We're going to have more from our interview with Camille Vasquez in our next hour, including the young team that they put together to win this case. It's very interesting to see the, because most of these people are under the age of 40, under the age of 35, actually. You know, Camille has gotten a lot of the attention, a lot of the spotlight, because she was so what people call dazzling in courtroom. They said it was a textbook case how she handled herself. Mm -hmm. But she says it wasn't just me. We had a lot of people working behind the scenes. And I think you'll be surprised to see how young these people were and what they did. I'm looking forward to being surprised yeah. about that, Gail. Thank you very much for that.